Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Also coming in off the heels of another historic, historic, monumental occasion. Um, and that was this versus that happened the other night. Um, did y'all have a chance to watch it, whether live or on replay? I, I watched the replay in the clips. Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> bits and pieces, bits and pieces. Oh man. Um for those out there in, in podcast land, if you didn't get to watch it, I I thoroughly recommend you go back and take the four. It's a long time. Take the, I think it may be up to like almost five hours that the entire thing is, but it is worth every minute, every second, <laughs> damn packed with action. Um. <laughs> if you don't know the verses we're talking about the other night, uh, we had the verses between uh, it was supposed to be between Mario and Amarion, um, in a night of R and B is what they called it, um, mm-hmm. but we ended up getting a special treat. I don't know if it was a treat for everybody, but it was damn sure hilarious and a treat for me. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> we ended up getting an extra bonus of uh, Sammy and Pleasure P. <laughs> versus Bobby Valentino and Ray J. Overall thoughts on the stuff that y'all saw from the verses. Um, what do y'all think about it? Um, yeah. What, what, what did y'all think about the pre-show, first of all? Uh what why why do we have a pre-show? What what the fuck is going on? When did versus get a pre-show? Um, versus like, who booked the knowing, teams? All I can say is knowing the participants, I'm not surprised being that Ray J is involved. It seemed like some Ray J type shit um, just from his Ray J business adventures and just his Ray J-ness. Um, yeah, it, it seemed like some Ray J shit. So he involved in it. I can see that happening. The whole night. Yeah. I can well, see that being some shit. Yeah. Well, um, you know, Ray J actually funded the um, production of this. Hold on, what? Yes. Say that one. Say that one. Say that one more time for the Ray. Movie. Ray J funded in the production of this versus. Okay, so that explains a whole lot. <laughs> that explains how we got circle doesn't it? Come in with the scoops. That explains how he got involved. That explains why he was holding his random baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was oh, my kids. All right. I'm ready. I'm my chariot. First of all, why did he put these teams together? Like when you think R and B, nobody's first thought goes to any one of these four. These niggas are friends. That's that's my only explanation off of that. Secondly, These... Ray J, you said Ray J funded it. Now this makes this worse. What was sound check? It's a Ray J event. Everybody oh. sounded a hot ass mess on that stage except for Tank let me, and Mario. Let me, let me tell you. Entire night. It was sometimes horrible. Technology can't do but so much. Uh, some of them were not vocally trained before this. Some of them saw the check, saw the contract, signed on the contract, and didn't really prepare too much for it. Ray J being one of them. <laughs> some of that niggas shit. Was, niggas was up there dry humping Fuckery. the dancers. Um, niggas was up there drunk. Let's call it what it was. Ray Ray J Ray J Ray J Anthony. Ray J Anthony. Ray Ray Daniel. Ray, Ray Daniel. against the machine. 
right Daniel you were drunk buddy you were you were hitting the sauce right thing you were hitting Dang, the sauce right then like let's call it what it was you were being very Ray J and not enough Ray who uh, the fuck planted Daniel. Bobby Valentino's jacket well you know Bobby who planted, Valentino. That, who planted that fuckery of a garden well, you know, Bobby Valentino has a long history of being very flamboyant this in more man. ways that I'd rather not even bring up. <laughs> yeah. This nigga had on every yeah. bloom that you could find in the garden section at Home Depot. Like every seed. I'm talking about from marigolds to tulips. I was like, nigga, um, sir, sir, <clears throat> ma'am, sir, what is your <laughs> pronoun? What's your pronoun? What what do we call you? Last I saw you was running out of a tranny's room, a transsexual. Yeah, that's it. That, yeah, that, that was that's what I was. Yeah, I was, I was alluding room, to that. With your pants down, screaming. Now you, yeah. now you're on stage with a whole bloom, I, sir. <clears throat> I'm I'm if you had ever wanted to combat any rumors about you, you did not succeed. Um the one wish debacle. <laughs> Thoughts on that? Anybody? Did anybody actually see that part? Yeah, I did. Uh, you can't okay. help but see it because it's 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 all over the internet. And <laughs> man, um, you messed it's up. Ray Ray. You yeah, you, you messed up, Ray J. You you should have just he like, didn't mess up. Did y'all see the breaking? He news didn't mess up, or it might have been yesterday when they had mm -hmm. the live with Ray J, Bobby V, Sammy, and Pleasure P, and they all had an Instagram live together. And they talked about the the verses. Did y'all see that? Mm -mm, I didn't see that. I even oh nigga, that. Ray J was on that bitch like, see, and y'all made me mad because that was my song, and y'all was singing. And then Bobby V was like, see, I was singing back up for you the whole time because see, I was your teammate. But then they were singing, and that was my song. That was my song. I, my time. I, I, I know Joe Button. Hey y'all. Uh, is Ray J autistic? He, he, I I know that's yeah. not like politically correct to ask of people. I keep saying but you ain't. But some ain't right with him. Like, he got some real. He got some real weird it's hurt about himself. It's just Ray J, man. A lot of celebrities are. Um, on the they are the same mentally. They're the same age <laughs> they were when they got into into Hollywood. So he eleven mentally. Doesn't that seem like something eleven year old would do when they don't get their way? All I know is when he was on Joe Button, I will give him this. When Joe Button randomly called him and and he was like, "Yo," and he said, "Joe Button podcast," and he was like, "Yo." He he said, "Yeah, I messed up, y'all. I messed up, y'all. I, I messed up, y'all." <laughs> Brandy blessed him out on Twitter. She was like, "I told him what to do. He didn't listen to me. She had gave him the game plan. You know, she the vocal Bible." Mm hmm. And I know she was. I know she was crying inside when she heard him. Bruh. <laughs> All right. So that was the pre-show. Um, she heard everything that was wrong in that show for those yo, five hours. You know she I, was, I feel you know, sorry she for her. Over on the sidelines, cringing the whole time. Like, oh god, oh that's another one. Oh, they <laughs> done stepped on that note too. God damn. Oh, they done stepped on every note. They didn't miss one, did they? Oh, they done flat. Oh, e. why did you make that a B flat? They done made everything. That is an E. Everything was flat. Everything was flat. Mm. Which mm. takes us to the main show. Mario versus a Marion. So after two hours of that fuckery of uh, Ray J, and Sammy in these weird outfits, and Sammy had on these weird cowboy, cowboys of Moo Mesa chaps. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, I remember that show. 
<laughs> I don't know what to call them damn pants he had on. Um, but they were horrible. I tell you that. Um, but after two hours of that, we were treated to Mario and Amarion as the main show, in which Mario proceeded to beat the dog shit out of Amarion. Um mm-hmm. Was not expected. I'm going to say it in the PC way first. Joe Budden put it very, very well when he said that Omarion did a very good job of minimizing his catalog by not using a lot of the B2K stuff and by kind of looking at the verses as more of a concert as opposed to an actual competition of songs. Um, Mm -hmm. His song selection was horrible. Mm -hmm. He had weird moments with background dancers and... The water. Can we talk about the watermelon? What the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. Right now, I, this is my graph about the watermelon. Right now, um, first of all, what was that? Why? What the fuck is that? Um, you're eating it with your with your brother, and um, then you give the you didn't even finish the watermelon. You just did like two or three bites, and then you give the watermelon to this auntie in the middle of the like. She had to be like like, like maybe between 35, 45, maybe 55, but you gave it to that auntie out there and and, and then, then knowing COVID just happened, the pandemic. Come on, come on, come on. The, come on. the COVID just it's happened, the, the pandemic. It's the worst moment. Was it, 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 it hasn't gone away completely yet. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Getting the Marion, the Marion variant. She bites, she bites the watermelon. Full blown age just takes a big chunk. <laughs> oh. And she's she has a and she's a celebrity. Um, I know she got congested right after she bit it. I know she did. I know all kinds of white blood cells got to flowing. Pus everywhere. Did Omarion ever announce that he had uh, the corona? <laughs> he didn't announce it, but damn it, I don't care whether he announced it or not. I'm pretty sure she had at least one. Your parents told you as a child, don't eat out the folk you don't know. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I have to say. You gonna go against mama and daddy? Mama and daddy undefeated in these streets. They told you they don't eat out of somebody you don't know. You some there sloshing after this man that molested this watermelon. Poor watermelon. As he yells off key into a microphone with his twin. Puckery. Now he eating them, he eating the watermelon with his twin. I don't really know the symbolism of that. Is he saying that There's him no and his twin gonna run train on you while they eat your pussy together? They were there was no like, what, 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 is, were, what are you why did you need to bring him up if it's about you and Mario? What what are you there, there was no planning tell me this. Thought tell behind me. this act at all? I'm gonna end the water with this one question. And if y'all can answer it for me, would a would a real like and this is why they 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 did want this. Watch this. Name me one time in the history of R&B or music in general when you have seen B2K, Amarion, Marcus Houston, Chris Stokes, any of the any of the immature variants from little from LDB to Romeo to the other one, the little Chinese looking boy that was in House Party Three with them. I remember that guy. Yeah. Name me <clears throat> one time in the history of this whole lineage that you ever said. You know what's missing? We need a little more old Ryan. Bring old Ryan in the mix. Where he been? It's been a minute since I've seen old Ryan. I would love it. I would love to hear an old Ryan verse on this track. Who the fuck is old Ryan? You know what? We can't do it for little Saint till we get old Ryan. Ain't nobody never asked for your brother, Omarion. Why the fuck did you find verses? As the time right. to showcase this nigga that don't nobody know, unless you actually watch, were a kid when B2K was out and you happened to watch something where you saw this. Like, the only reason I know who he was is because he said it on the verses. 
I'm gonna bring my brother. Son named I got Orion. my brother Orion in the house. Come on, Orion. And then here comes a nigga that look like you coming out to eat nigga, nigga apples with you on the stage. You fucking yeah, coon. This nigga said nigga, nigga apples. Ass, soft shoeing coon eating nigga apples with your <laughs> my god. Looking like all of KKK's wildest nigga dreams. apples. You fucking coon. Get the fuck out of here. Not one time <clears throat> In the history of anybody's moment, I don't care if you grew up with these niggas and went to school with these niggas. Not one moment in your life have you been having a ta- having a, 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 a episode or, or an encounter in life and been like, damn, no, we missing. Sure would be better if Orion was here. Ain't nobody ever said that shit. The constellations, about the belt don't, the, sky? Don't, the constellations don't care about Orion. Uh, the, I, I thought that's what you were talking about. My stick girl got a, a son. Not nigga, one. Right? That's the only one I know. Hear me. Hear me and hear me well. You go back in the hist- the annals of history. Look on any <laughs> scroll, papyri. Look on any tablet. You will not find the words. Damn. All we was missing was Orion. Get the fuck out of here. Dark side of DC Comics got a son named Orion that wants to kill him. <laughs> Ain't nobody never been missing Orion. There was never a, a a bonus that people were like, "Damn, man, if we could have just had Orion, we would have. It would have been perfect." No, nigga. Who? <laughs> Get the Orion. fuck out of here, yo! I, that shit <clears throat> makes me so angry in all of the black man in me. Don't you bring your talentless brother out to eat nigga apples and soft shit on the stage with you right now. Nobody um, needed that. No, nobody. No, nobody needed that. It's my little brother, o- Orion. Um, nobody I, wanted to hear from Orion. And nobody asked for that. One of y'all asked for that? One of y'all wanted not me. to hear Orion? I didn't yeah, it at all. Y'all happen to be missing some Orion in your life? I, I didn't want the verses at all. Well, there you well, damn. <laughs> well, there you go. So there. he definitely didn't ask for Orion. Um, I like to give uh this time to give my respects to Mario. Um for um, Chris, Mario uh, kicked ass and talked. The most exquisite of shit while doing it. Go ahead, Pat. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to talk about that. Mario called Omario because you can't spell Mario without Mario. That shit was funny <laughs> when your buttons said that shit. <laughs> anyway, Yo, Mario called Omario. Mario was out there doing promo like dancing. the American dream. That nigga was doing hard times, baby. It's hard time. You put America through yeah. hard times when you ate that watermelon. Uh, he put a Marion through hard times. Everybody else went through hard times, but Mario. Mario called a Marion a dancing little nigga more than two times. He he keeps telling a Marion. He said that he's a terrible singer and he needs milk. He said he didn't want to be on the raggedy ass million Let's talk about uh, millennium this. tour. Anyway. Let's talk about this. Mario vocally fucked up. Omarion, Jeremiah, and Tank. Oh. I don't know what Tank, Jeremiah was doing. Tank looked so offended that he was even brought out in this shit. Like, <laughs> God damn it, Omarion, yeah. why the fuck did you bring me out here? Got me got straight show. bullets for nothing. I was I was fine where I was at TGT, nigga. I was chilling I'm right in the back with my tight ass shirt. shirt. Cause you kill I can't be tanked without my tight ass. I was ass fine shirt. doing my riffs on TikTok challenges. I was chilling in the back with my tight ass shirt. And here you come get me fucked up on national everything by Mario. And then Mario dapped the nigga up as he fucked them up. That was the bad part. How you keep talking Good sportsmanship? You talking shit to this little nigga, and then 
looking at him, telling him at the end of it, like, yeah, you were, you know, we good. I respect you. You know, shout out to everything you got going on. You know, I thought I'd beat the shit out of you and talk shit to you for two hours. He and Mario call everything and everybody terrible. Yeah. <laughs> But can we that nigga acted like a Baltimore nigga last night? That well, that can night. We, can that. We, yo, he brought all the DMV out. Can we can we get a salute for that? Can we uh get a 21 <laughs> gun salute for that? Uh, I didn't even shout, know he was from Baltimore last night. For for all of that, I appreciate it. I I totally appreciate it. Oh man. Oh man. Um, oh man. Now I was gonna I was gonna joke on Jeremiah's voice. But I did that was hard. did hear he hear he had a bad bout with COVID earlier this year. So I think that may have played a significant role in uh his decline in vocal talent. Mm. Mm. I'll let that be. So I'll I'll yeah, leave I'm, I'm gonna let him ride because of that. But um, to be clear, I'm not letting them ride. I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> That's what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just shut up. Blue, you had a bad bout. Why are you there? Stay your ass oh, home. Damn. Drink some tea. Some hot tea. Hot tea. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shit. Oh shit. Shit. This nigga said. Shit. This nigga going in. I'm saying though, what was his like? Did you hear that? I know you. I know you heard that. But you, that one little moment, I'm like, dog, nah, no, no, and you don't got to pull that off. That we can be somewhere in the club. It's warm as long as you are around me. That verse is exposed to industry. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I can sing better than Jeremiah that night. R&B is in shambles. I can sing better than Jeremiah that night. (laughs) Me. In in the the shower. You understand me? R&B is in complete shambles right now. What the fuck is going on with rhythm? Like, it's a whole um, it's I'm, a whole uh, reshuffling of what's not good right now. Not in, not doing you know, my recording um get a whole new deck, studio. Shit. Not to go in my recording studio nerd uh bag, but uh the engineer is a magician. He can make the worst of sounding verses sound like the greatest shit you ever heard. If you ever hear, and I'm just going off of my own experience because I've heard myself say sound but you know what that goes boring and sound amazing. <laughs> then sound amazing after the mix. And I've heard uh, the major word of manhood though, Pat. Mm-hmm. Preparation. True. E- everybody Preparation came in for performance. performance and high instead of prepare, except for Mario, which is why his sound sounded immaculate all night. He had no issues with transitions. His DJ was right in sync with him. Like his mm-hmm. DJ was more of a part of the show maybe than he was. Like he, like his DJ was right in line with everything he wanted to do. You know what I mean? So like when you got that type of flow going on, you got yourself prepared like that. It, it is what it is, man. Like, I don't think Omarion stood a chance. And the sad part was the saltiness that kept bubbling up from him. Mm-hmm. After bad. It was bad. Oh, I just saw this online about this. Neo said something about the verses. <laughs> Neo said, Omarion got to use his whole body to get the same response that Mario can get with just his voice. Right. Mm. And, and now, mind you, deep mind deep. you, to me, Neo looks like a stud. 
lesbian. And I know that has nothing to do with. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Run that past me one more time. Hold on, hold on. The first time I didn't even pause, but it's just, just stop. Neo looked like Neo looked like the girl that dressed up like the guy to get the girl. That's what Neo looked like. The hat, you know what I'm saying? You haven't seen this first album. I'm pretty sure y'all have, because y'all like that album. Um, he looked like a stud to me. And first time I seen him, I thought he was actually a woman. <laughs> you see Neo look like a girl trying to be a dude. <laughs> the first time I saw him, I thought he was, he was. And then they said that was Neo. I was like, oh, okay. I apologize for this rant. But anyway, I, still. Oh I don't Neo is a is is a very respected person vocally and as far as um his writing ability in the industry. So him saying this <laughs> oh shit. Um y'all know that nigga look like a stud. Y'all know that I'm gonna be maybe look single me out, goddamn it. We all know that. See that, it's that hat. That, that you seen it right there. I didn't see that. You one. seen when you seen that hat? Well, matter of fact, let me pull it. I'll go, that's I what Google was on a for. completely different way with the beginning of that uh, statement. The rest of it, I was with you with, but uh, <laughs> nigga said he looked like a stud. I had, come on, B. I like, I was like, huh? That's fucked up. Duh, just, come on, man. Duh, just look at this, B. You can't tell me no. That's what he looked like, B. Look at this, dog. It, it, the way that that was the hat. Like his name is. He Cheryl. used to wear hats. Yeah. <laughs> his name is Anita. It's the hats, man. I don't know. You got to stop wearing them hats. Damn right. Look, look, look at this first. Look at this first album. Look at that first album. <laughs> My lip gloss be popping. My lip gloss is cool. Could yeah, he have transition? Hmm? Could he have transition? <laughs> I don't know. Look like he did. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's how the rumor got started. <laughs> Y'all, wow. That'd be I'm, right up there with Stevie Wonder ain't blind. That that's that, 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 that's a, that's a point. No argument there. Well, um. <laughs> I'm sorry for ranting and um, no. but yeah, yeah, that nigga Mario can't sing for real. And um everybody else in B2K could God. actually sing and he could. That's my <laughs> overall takeaway from the night is that at the end of the day, R and B is in shambles. And it's only like four people in R and B that can really sing. Remember you know when, why it's in um, shambles? Because R. Kelly was a damn nasty man and he got put in jail. That's why R&B is in shambles because because everybody want to be R the opposite Kelly, of him now. If he want if he want a nasty man, if if he want Mister Nasty Man, can you stop? And we're still out making hits. Saying it, can you stop saying he, R&B R&B be in there? <laughs> if, if he won't be Mister Nasty Man, he wouldn't be in jail. He wouldn't have his nasty ass in jail with them other nasty men trying to be nasty with him. So now everybody's trying to be the opposite of him. Even everybody trying to replace the best singer out right now, Lil Duval, man. Lil Duval got them RB hits, man. <laughs> Shit. I'm uh yep. I think that's time. When when face say something like that, it's time. 